Advocacy is about having your voice heard and respected and taken notice of to get the outcomes that you need. So if you want that community to hear you, you have to understand what that community is. And as the community becomes more and more diverse, our advocacy needs to become more diverse to keep pace with that, or we won't be heard. We won't understand how to be heard. And so having that diversity of voices in the advocacy effort, I think is absolutely critical many different farmers being engaged in those conversations is a lot more powerful than having one voice from one lobby group or you know one representative body farming is different across every region and australia is such a a large country it is definitely important to hear different perspectives for us it's definitely about having everybody at the table. Over the last sort of five to ten years the board's made a determined effort that to, to bring more and more diverse voices into our membership that represent agriculture uh, as a national advocacy group because it's important that, that we have a wide read on what our industry is thinking. Ag advocacy has some challenges around the traditional approach, especially that we follow in agriculture. Uh, we tend to be a fairly traditional industry, but there's some fantastic youth and some fantastic innovation and ideas coming through in agriculture, and they're going to show us different ways of doing it, I'm sure. Not only new methods of communicating and engaging with stakeholders, but totally new approaches as to how to get results. We've got to be better at working together, we've got to be more agile, we've got to use a whole range of different tools and we've sort of got to get past ourselves a little bit. Sometimes we get caught in that detail. Agility is the key, working together, bringing in broader networks and not thinking like it's 2022 but thinking where we need to be in the future.